I couldn't imagine. In New York, in this busy city, it can be like, there is like places, public place and water. A lot of people come contact with this water and there might be very serious organisms in this water. Therefore, I said, I really want to uh, examine this water. The overview of this research is to look at uh, microorganisms that are inhabiting our aquatic areas. And all aquatic areas have their own ecosystems. The bottom of the ecosystems are the things that we can't see. First, we start with a sterile cap tube. And uh, we're going to go close to the water and uh, make sure that we open that cap tube after we have dipped it underwater. They're actually doing a screen of what we find at the bacteria level and other organisms called protists. From here, we have to transfer it immediately to ice, which is going to keep it cool until we transfer it to the laboratory. We're starting with a protocol that the Environmental Protection Agency uses to screen for E. coli contamination in water. We're not really so much looking for contamination, although we can, but it's one way of um, teaching the students how to identify bacteria and how to do a lot of these biochemical tests that we have to do. What we ultimately want to do is examine how these organisms will respond to changing environments. So we're looking at differences in temperature, differences in acidity, differences in salinity levels. Today we're going to start our experiment with filtering our sample, water sample that is taken from uh, Central Park. We're going to put the filter membrane on the uh, selective auger and we're going to see the, the colonies that's growing and if the colonies are yellow that could possibly be E. coli, if they're purple um, they're not. This research helps me look beyond our, what our naked eye can see, go deep in there in the microorganism life, and it gets really interesting. Everything the students do is a small part of a bigger research project. So any experiments we design okay, is part of a long-term goal. These students, Ornella and Maftuna and Maradillo, have been working with me since last September, and they've made quite a bit of progress. Part of learning how to do research is being trained in the methods. So we spend a lot of time on microbiology methods and on molecular biology methods. It gives them a boost in their academic career. It gives them an advantage after they transfer to a four-year school. They have the experience to do research. I like her method that she has ability to break up everything into very, very, very simple level that we can understand. That's the beauty of working with Dr. Piano. I love teaching. Working at BMCC, I'm working with students that are just starting out their educational careers. Okay? And we only have the students here at BMCC for a short period of time. So being able to give them an opportunity to do research is very rewarding.